What's good everybody? My name is Jay Fatty. Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to talk about how you can play one note on your MIDI keyboard and have it play a chord, all right? So let's get right into it. So what we're going to use is Patcher. If you don't see it in the plugins, go to more plugins, pull it up in the channel rack, and then we're going to want to go to the drop down arrow, go to presets, and then go to Yada Saw. It's at the bottom here. It's going to pull up this, all right? What we can do is is we can change the key down here and it can give us a chord. Now the scale that it's gonna be in is minor natural always, no matter what key, but we can burn this to MIDI and actually mess around with the notes, change the sound of it. It doesn't have to be this sound. We can put it to any other sound we want, like Omnisphere or anything like that. But first we're gonna to have to get some chords. So we're gonna go over to A, just put it on A, and if I play something, it's gonna sound pretty bad. Let me actually go down to here and bring the volume down because it's a saw sound so it'll be really loud but we can play something I'm just hitting one note on my MIDI keyboard and it's playing a whole chord all right so what we can do is let's just put some uh, notes in here real quick okay so we just got these notes right here now to burn this to MIDI we can click on the Yada saw we're gonna have to go into the little map area here it's gonna look crazy there's gonna be a bunch of stuff but essentially, you just want to find this key mapper, all right? You want to find two of them. There's two of them hidden in here. The other one should be around here somewhere. There it is. Okay, so you want to drag the two key mappers out, all right? And what you want to do is just left-click and drag this to FL Studio. So you just left-click right here and drag it to the to FL Studio icon. And then hit MIDI port zero. You want to do the same thing with the other one, just like that. Now what we can do is we can right-click this Yada Saw and do Burn to MIDI, all right, or Burn MIDI 2, and we'll do a new pattern. Just close this. Now, as you see, we got the chords here. Now we can put this in anything. If I just open up uh, FL Keys, for example, copy this over and paste it here, mute this one, See, just like that, you got some chords. It's a little bit of a process, but it gives you some knowledge, too. It helps you learn what chords are which. But yeah, that's pretty much it. If this video brought you value, please leave a like, hit subscribe, and hit the little bell. Make sure you stay safe, stay striving, and always be getting it. Much love, y'all. Peace.